in screening for aortic stenosis, I think there are just two very basic and very simple ways. Uh, the first is questioning the patient uh, about what their level of function is and how it compares to where they were, say, a year or two before. Um, that can be how far do they walk, how long does it take them to walk that far, do they have a regular schedule, do they notice that they're stopping to catch their breath when they're trying to get uh, to the market uh, or in from the parking lot or to the mailbox, can they walk up a flight of stairs, or do they say, wow, I really get out of breath just on one flight of walking upstairs. Feeling fatigue um, is perhaps a part of aging. Feeling fatigue and that from time to time they may pass out is not a normal part of aging. So the sensation that you're occasionally about to go down or black out, that's not normal and that bears talking to a physician about what that is. So in simple terms, just talking to the patient, getting a feel for whether their, their physiology, their body is working or not working is a first step. And beyond that, uh, just uh, in the case of aortic stenosis, putting a stethoscope on their chest will tell the, the primary physician uh, or whoever their physician is uh, if they have aortic stenosis or not. Mild and severe aortic stenosis um, is separated uh, uh, based on echocardiogram. An echocardiogram is using an ultrasound or sound wave uh, machine to look at the heart. Uh, what that can do is uh, measure the velocity across the aortic valve and then by using an equation estimate the size of the aortic valve in, in terms of well-known objects, uh, aortic stenosis which is severe or once upon a time called critical uh, would be an opening the size of a penny or a nickel and a, a normal aortic valve really ought to be the size of a quarter or a half dollar. Um, so echocardiogram is the way to distinguish between severe um, and mild aortic stenosis, um, but uh, the clinician can easily get an inkling uh, as to the severity of the aortic stenosis based on the history with the patient, i.e., is it symptomatic, uh, and the severity and nature of the murmur. We've, we've now got a, um, a pretty good-sized armamentarium of tests. Of course, it starts in the office with the, with the physician speaking to the patient and uh, listening to the patient's heart and listening for murmurs beyond that. The uh, echocardiogram, which is a variant of ultrasound, is the, perhaps the single best test for aortic stenosis. Um, beyond that, uh, as uh, used to be the most common test for aortic stenosis, in the catheterization laboratory, uh, physicians can pass a catheter up into the patient's heart uh, from uh, the femoral artery in the groin area uh, and pass a catheter across the aortic valve and measure the pressure in the, in the heart and outside the heart, and by that measurement, figure out the gradient across the aortic valve, i.e., how, how it is blocked, and using a calculation, determine the area of the aortic valve. That still most, may be the most reliable and accurate way to determine the exact measurement across the aortic valve. These days, because of the quality of echocardiography, um, and that science is not, uh, not often required. Um, beyond that, CAT scan and MRI are two modalities that uh, are improving uh, each uh, couple of years in their ability to clarify conditions of the heart because the study can be done uh, based on technologic advances with, uh, with such uh, clarity based on how the scans can be timed with the heart that actually seeing and quantitating aortic stenosis and aortic insufficiency uh, and cardiac function uh, can be done quite accurately. The point at which um, a physician should think about sending a patient on to a cardiologist for evaluation of suspected aortic stenosis is at the point where the physician hears a harsh systolic murmur in the setting of a patient who has symptoms. There are um, uh, plenty of primary care physicians who uh, perhaps in their own office even, will uh, obtain um, echocardiograms. If the echocardiogram makes a diagnosis of uh, moderate to severe or severe aortic stenosis, meaning uh, patients with a smaller valve area of 1.2 or less, and they have symptoms, then that needs to be evaluated.